Hey, Nash, what should we make? Why don't you take me to Nobu? I want to try that black cod with miso. Pretty sure they don't allow dogs, but we could make it at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. All right. Let's make Nobu's black cod with miso. Today, we're making Nobu's black cod with miso. Now, if you're not familiar, Nobu is a famous, super fancy, expensive ass restaurant. They're all over the world. There's, uh, I think, LA, New York, Vegas for sure. It's a Japanese restaurant. It's good. Is it worth the price? I don't know, probably not. But their food is definitely good and it's super famous. So one of their most famous entree items is the miso black cod or black cod with miso. Go to the restaurant, it'll run you around 49 bucks. You can make it at home for a lot less and make it just as good, maybe even better. I don't know. So if you want to impress somebody, you got a date night, you got a family thing, whatever. Anyways, here's how we can make that dish at home for a lot less, and it's not that hard. It's not quick, it's not a 15 minute meal. It is with some preparation. We do have something we need to talk about. The seafood industry is crazy. So, black cod, not a thing. Just like uh, just like Chilean sea bass, not actually a thing. Black cod is actually a fish called sable fish. It's not a cod. Similar to the Chilean sea bass, not a bass. So black cod is actually a fish called sable fish, but they rebrand and it is black cod because I don't know, it sounds sexier. Maybe it's more marketable. It worked better in a focus group. Not really sure. Same thing with Chilean sea bass. Chilean sea bass is not real. Well, it's a real fish. I mean, the fish is real, but that's not really what it is. It's called a Patagonian toothfish. It's not even a bass, but they decided to rebrand it so they could charge you $30 a pound for it. Uh, it look, don't get me wrong. Both of these fish, the sable fish and the Patagonian toothfish, AKA black cod, Chilean sea bass, both delicious. However, it's just funny because I don't know, the, the marketing arm of the seafood industry, big seafood, is that a thing? Kind of crazy, but hey, the more you know. All that being said, this is a delicious dish. Let's go. Chili sauce pot. We turn our heat on too high. Then we add a quarter cup of sake and a quarter cup of mirin. You know, it's a Japanese dish. We gotta have multiple Japanese wines, right? So right now we're making our we're making our marinade. So we gotta bring our sake and our mirin up to a boil. Once our mixture is boiling, we let it boil for 20 seconds. And we turn the heat all the way down. We add a quarter cup of miso. Now this is Seikyo miso. It's a sweet miso. It's different than red or white. However, if you cannot find it, you can use white, as in white miso. So we add that and a few tablespoons of sugar. Now on low heat, we just let this kind of simmer. We stir everything together. And we let this simmer until our miso and our sugar are all dissolved. And this is all combined. Once everything is combined, we can kill the heat. Now you absolutely positively want to make sure that your marinade cools down before we put it on the fish because we don't want this to cook the fish. So here's our sable fish. They sell sable fish, slash black, black cod at Costco, but uh, you can also definitely get it at Sprouts and probably Whole Foods, I don't know. Anyways, we pour our marinade over our little fish deals here. And I put the skin side down first. I'm gonna make sure and cover everything and and then we'll flip it over. And then, I should have put a glove on for this, and then we're just gonna go ahead and gently flip this guy over, gently. So now we got skin side up. You don't have to use your hands like I am, cause I'm, I don't know, I'm a heathen. I'm a barbarian of some sort. So we got everything covered. It probably doesn't matter which way you do it. I just thought it made more sense to go skin side down first. Either way, put your fish in, pour the marinade on, let it get covered, and then flip it. Because now we're gonna, we're gonna put that lid on this. We're gonna let this marinade marinate for two to three days. It's a pretty easy dish, but it's not a quick dish. It is a quick dish if you don't count this part, that two to three days of marination. So we're gonna put a lid on this guy, and now we marinate for two to three days. So see you soon. Several days later. We wanna preheat our oven to 400 degrees, and then on medium high heat with a cast iron pan, we wanna put in about two tablespoons of neutral oil, something with a high smoke point like canola. I'm using avocado. You just, you don't wanna use something like olive oil that's gonna burn. As soon as our oil starts to smoke just a little bit. We're gonna put our fish in skin side up. And 
and we're gonna sear it on each side for two to three minutes. And we're just looking for a nice sear with just a little bit of charring. Once we have a nice sear, we can flip it over to the skin side. And once your two to three minutes is up on the skin side down, we're gonna take this, pop it into our 400 degree oven for five to 10 minutes, just to finish cooking this all the way through. And as soon as your five or 10 minutes is up, you wanna pull them out of the pan so they stop cooking, transfer them to something else. Let it cool for a second, and then you can go ahead and add some sides. You pick your sides. These are some uh, some soy ginger sauteed uh, bok choy here. And then you can garnish your fish with a little bit of thin sliced green onions. And that'll do the trick right there. And there you have your black cod with miso, or miso black cod. Time for a bite. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is, that's one of the best fishes I've ever made. I'll be honest. It's so good. That marination for three days, uh, you can do two or three. I'll be honest. If all you can do is overnight, do that better than nothing. But yeah, the, I, we did three days and I mean, the flavors have fully penetrated the fish. It's, I mean, it's perfectly cooked. It's got that kind of crispy exterior, but just super, super moist and delicious all the way throughout. It's amazing. Like I said, it's as good or better than Nobu, but it didn't cost me 49 dollars so 10 out of 10 would highly recommend i mean try this cook it for your spouse cook it for a date cook it for a friend cook it for yourself or cook it for your dog okay maybe not but i did so that being said let's see what nash thinks there's my little buddy hey bud look what we got for you some miso black cod what do you think oh good boy here you go dude what do you think? You like that? Is that good? Is that good? You want to say anything to the fans? Love. You got a lot of fans, bud. Love is the answer. <laughs> All right. Nash approves. I definitely approve. Nash actually approves so much. He's usually pretty good, but he keeps trying to steal this other piece I got here, which he's going to get as soon as I'm done filming. Buddy, just chill out. He's usually very well behaved. So this must be exceptionally delicious because he, uh, his patience non-existent right now. Anyways, 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. It's really good. Like I said, it's that signature dish at Nobu. It's super famous, but it's really, I mean, yes, you got to marinate it for a few days. So it's not a quick dish. However, outside of that, you, to, to prepare it before you marinate it. And then once cook it after you marinate it, literally we're talking 10 minutes each, like not hard. So super easy to do. Definitely worth it. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate all of you. If you wouldn't mind taking a second to like, subscribe, and share this the show. It would mean a lot to me. It mean a lot to us. If you want notifications every time we drop a new video, go ahead and hit that notification bell. If there's anything you want me to cook, you want me and Nash to taste, go ahead and drop that in the comments or head to our website, timschaoskitchen.com. Leave us a message there. Just remember, cook more, eat better, embrace the chaos. That's it for now, folks. Until next time. Peace.